Welcome. This training video is designed to educate food product developers on why egg products are an excellent source of functional and nutritional proteins for gluten-free formulations. After you view this video, it is highly recommended that you obtain additional information on formulations from the application-specific training modules that are also available through this continuing education program. So let's get started. Historically, many of these products have been formulated with grain-based ingredients such as wheat. These ingredients are a source of gluten food components that many individuals try to avoid for health reasons. I'm going to show you how these products can be made gluten-free by using egg products, sometimes in combination with other gluten-free ingredients. What is gluten and why is there a growing trend toward labeling foods as gluten-free? Gluten is an elastic substance. It forms when two proteins, glutenin and gliadin, are mixed with moisture. These two proteins bind water. They connect and cross-connect to form elastic strands of gluten. These proteins are found in all forms of wheat, including durum, semolina, and spelt. They are also found in a number of other grains such as rye, oats, and barley. Some human digestive systems can't tolerate gluten. People with gluten intolerance need to avoid traditional sources of gluten such as breads, pasta, and cookies. But consumers may not be aware of the presence of these grains in other products, resulting in unexpected ingestion of gluten. Foods based on these grains include breadings, stabilizers, and thickeners. Other common foods such as cold cut, chicken products, gummy and hard candies, soups and sauces, and many other low or no fat products can also use these ingredients. These foods are all hidden sources of gluten. The issue is that even the slightest amount of gluten can wreak havoc on the digestive system of someone who has gluten intolerance. For those individuals with celiac disease, which is an autoimmune intestinal disorder that interferes with absorption of nutrients, ingestion of any gluten can also increase the risk of nutritional and immune-related illnesses and is ultimately life-threatening. The only treatment for celiac disease is a lifelong adherence to a gluten-free diet. When gluten is removed from the diet, the small intestine starts to heal and overall health improves. Because so many of our favorite foods typically use flours and ingredients that contain gluten, formulators are seeking solutions to remove these ingredients, ideally replacing them with similar functioning ingredients that are free of gluten and also that contribute nutritionally. In many applications, egg products are the ideal solution. Since the summer of 2010, scientists at Kansas State University have been experimenting with using egg proteins in bread, the grain-based food that is the least forgiving when gluten is removed. The high-quality, complete proteins in eggs have the ability to form a foam that entraps air. This allows eggs to be used with gluten-free flours to simulate wheat flour experience. As you can see, the control is gluten-free sorghum bread without any egg. The other loaf contains 25% whole liquid egg product on a flour basis. Through various application experiments, scientists have determined that this is the amount of egg that has the most favorable impact on bread color, texture, and most importantly, volume. To better understand how egg proteins function similarly to gluten in bread, let's compare the two. Gluten entraps and holds air bubbles that expand by the leavening agent during the baking step, causing the dough or batter to rise. The stretch gluten becomes rigid as the moisture evaporates from the heat of the oven and sets the structure of the baked goods. This visualistic properties of gluten provide the perfect combination of elasticity and rigidity by expanding with the gas while still holding its shape. 
When egg proteins are heated or exposed to acid, the weak bonds holding the amino acid chains together in a three-dimensional structure break and the chains unfold or denature. When they aggregate back together, a process known as coagulation, they entrap air and moisture. In essence, they create cells where the cellular wall is composed of proteins and the cell contents are composed of air or moisture. When the cell contains air, this is referred to as a foam. It is very similar to when gluten entraps and holds air bubbles. This egg foam structure is generally irreversible and is able to provide height, volume, and stability to cakes, muffins, quick breads, and other chemically leavened baked goods. Next steps for the Kansas State researchers is to conduct sensory studies on the breads. They will also determine the best form, amount, and time of addition of the egg products to the dough or batter. What they have determined is the egg proteins improve the nutritional profile of gluten-free breads, which have historically been made with nutritionally poor ingredients. In fact, at a usage level of 25% on a flour basis, bread marketers could claim that resulting product is a good source of protein. One other surprising benefit that scientists discovered was that the egg products slow down the staling process. This is accomplished through their ability to retain moisture. Researchers plan to further evaluate this benefit to determine if it is possible to emit chemically anti-staling agents when formulating gluten-free breads with egg products. What about other baked goods? In general, gluten-free cakes, cookies, and muffins are easier to formulate than gluten-free breads when egg proteins are part of the formulation. Sugar molecules, which are generally present in greater quantities in these products than in bread, raise the temperature at which egg proteins coagulate. This allows for far more and larger air cells to form, resulting in a light, fluffy texture. Looking beyond baked goods, we find that wheat flour is typically used in the batter that encrust or breads frozen appetizers, such as chicken and fish products. The elasticity of the gluten helps with adherence of the breading to the food. The proteins in eggs, specifically in the egg whites, can provide the same adherence properties. Heat or acid causes the egg proteins to coagulate. When they solidify, they function as an adhesive, connecting ingredients or food components with each other. When it comes to pasta, wheat flour has historically been the grain of choice. The gluten enhances the machinability of pasta dough, contributes to good cooking quality, and produces a desirable cooked pasta texture. Additionally, pasta made from refined wheat flour is visually what consumers have come to expect. When using gluten-free grains to make pasta, formulations will often incorporate egg products. Once again, the proteins function similarly to gluten in this application. In addition, egg yolk contains xanthophyll, a carotenoid that has a yellow-orange pigment that gives the yolk its characteristic color. This pigment contributes a rich color to the pasta, particularly pastas based on very light colored flours, such as those obtained from rice and soy. Egg proteins can also provide structure, coagulative properties to bind food products such as snacks, processed meats, and prepared entrees. They can coagulate and entrap moisture, creating gels that thicken, bind, and provide structure without the gluten of other ingredients. For example, egg products can often replace the small amount of wheat-based ingredients used to bind ingredients that go into crab cakes, meatballs, and pasta fillings. Egg proteins can also improve the mouthfeel of sweet goods and puddings by providing substantial body and smoothness. They can be used to thicken sauces, gravies, smoothies, and other viscous products that normally rely on wheat-based starch ingredients. 
And finally, compared to many other protein, egg proteins are bland and thus they mix well into products, allowing characteristic flavors to come through clearly and cleanly. In conclusion, egg proteins can work synergistically with other gluten-free ingredients to effectively make gluten-free alternatives to traditional products that are acceptable to consumers. Thank you for viewing this training video on how egg products can contribute to gluten-free formulations. To learn more about specific egg product functionalities, please view additional training videos in this series.